Well, we're going to take a look back at the Panther Arms, DPMS, SBR. Um, it's a great blowback, full auto, CO2, BB gun that feeds off of dual CO2 cartridges, which is pretty neat. I have a lot of fun with this gun, and it's never failed me. It looks the part. It functions the part. And it's got a real good cool factor, that's for sure. I go to the uh, local gun club, and I pull this out, and they look and say, whoa, you can't have that here. I assure them I can, that it's a BB gun. Because everyone who sees it thinks it's the real deal. And then they see it in full auto mode. And they all fall in love. Every gun enthusiast falls in love with a full auto BB gun that you can use every day and not get in trouble. And it's unregulated, which is fantastic. It's fun. 430 feet per second. And if you have magazines loaded and ready to go, you can get up to 1,400 rounds per minute. Or so the company says. I have no reason to doubt it. And I assure you it's plenty. It fires plenty fast enough. And that dual CO2 system provides quite a few rounds of blast power. It comes with your flip-up sights that are polymer. This particular one came with a center point red dot, which I like, and it works good. It's got an adjustable stock, although on this particular model with the Panther Arms, it does not have a removable buffer tube. A lot of people don't like that, but I don't care. I wouldn't take my buffer tube off anyhow on a BB gun, and I like the looks of this stock. Or like Magpul furniture, if you ask me. This one comes with a nice forward grip. It's a nice short design, hence SBR. It functions just like a real one, from the mag release to the safety selector switch and, and the fire mechanism, as I like to call it, the pew pew switch. It's got a rounded trigger well, so you can wear gloves with this pretty easy. It's got your standard AR grip that is interchangeable with pretty much any other AR grip that's out there, as long as it's of good quality and tolerance. The magazine is very realistic to feel and handle once it's together, although it does hold the CO2 cartridges. It is weighty. The gun itself is made of polymer, and that's another turnoff to a lot of people. But I've had real polymer ARs. So, you know, what is the, the big downfall of this gun? What would make you not purchase an inexpensive fun plinking backyard gun that you can train with if you like. Well, for a lot of people, it is the polymer. And if I'm going to be honest, before I bought this gun and did my research, there was one thing that really kept me from buying it sooner. I could deal with a polymer gun. I knew it had a metal barrel, and I knew it had a good blowback action, judging on other reviews, but one thing that kept making me not purchase the gun sooner was right here. The flash hider. It's polymer also. And I think that is a question that's not answered a lot. What is the flash hider? When you see the videos, nobody, they'll show the gun, but they don't show the, tell you what the flash hider is made of. While the flash hider is of high quality, and you really got to touch it to know it's polymer. It is polymer, so I'm going to answer that question for a lot of you out there. It is polymer. It's a reverse threaded 14 millimeter flash hider. So that means you can pretty much put anything you want on the end of this, as long as it's reverse threaded and 14 millimeter. The flash hider does look good, but it would have a bit more realism if it was aluminum. I really wish they would have done that. And that's the only thing that held me back. And frankly, I couldn't find any reviewers that told me what that was made of, which was strange. So metal components on this. Metal charging handle. Sounds real. Looks real. 
Magazine. Metal. Charging handle. Metal. Nice ejection port. The bolt carrier. Work. Sound real. It racks real. It's very decent. Definitely. Selector switch. Standard AR sound. It feels like it's supposed to. You can hold the magazine, the charging handle back if you need to, which is nice. It does have a mechanism. There you go. Holds it right open. So it functions just like the real AR-15. It's a nice looking gun. It has the correct weight, and it has the correct balance. It's a polymer rail on it, but the polymer on this gun is really high quality. It's not, it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't rattle around. And it's fun to play with. It's fun to plink, and it's the most fun you're going to have with your clothes on, I guarantee that. And it's cheap to shoot. So if there's any deal breakers with this, for me, it would have been the muzzle brake, or a flash hider. But I'm glad I bought it because actually it wasn't a deal breaker. I'm, I'm glad I actually, I can live with it for now. Maybe I'll play and put something else on it. Now how's the accuracy? It's decent. It's nothing to write home to mom about, that's for sure, but it's decent. And it, it you're going to hit your target because simply it sprays so fast. I mean, you have 1,400 rounds a minute. Okay, that's plenty fast enough. And in full auto mode, it makes a sound that sounds really good. And it's got kick, it's got recoil. It's a very realistic experience, as close as you can get to the real thing anyhow, that you're going to find. And that's due to the mass kicking back and forth inside the gun, which is fun. So do I recommend this? Hell yeah, I recommend it. It's cool as hell. Now, Bushmaster makes one that's similar, although the stock is your standard AR stock, and you can pretty much put any stock you want on that one. I like this one because I'll never change it. I think the other one might have a different muzzle brake or flash hider on it. But the internals, the internals are all the same. Crossman also makes one, same company that makes them all, also makes one with their own branding that's a bit cheaper. And they look good too. So it's all up to you which one you want to buy. I like the brand DPMS. I'm a trademark guy. And this has nice trades. Although it's hard to see them right now on camera because I have used some mag skins on the Magwell. Which I like. A lot of naysayers out there, they don't like the mag skins. They think it's cheap and chintzy. I don't think they've ever used them before. Because I assure you, it's good quality. And it looks nice and it forms to anything you put it on with heat very easily. And it's an AR-15. Let's put an American flag on it, right? Well, I hope this answers any questions that you have about this gun, if you're thinking about purchasing one. And it's a, it's a great gun. I don't know what more to say about it other than you will be happy with it. It doesn't jam. It doesn't malfunction. Everything works good. The internals of this gun are built super solid. Very impressive, as a matter of fact. I don't think you can... For the price that these go for, I don't think you're going to find anything better that you're going to have more fun with, for sure. One of my best purchases in the air gun world ever. And I have some expensive guns. But this is fun. Fun factor is this. If you're hunting, of course not. If you're plinking and just having fun or doing drills. If you want to do drills and not do drills with your real AR because, well, the price of ammo is so expensive. This is the gun for you. I assure you it functions the exact same way. It handles the exact same way. So, I think that's pretty much all, all there I can say about this today. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, and I can keep you up to date on uh, more product coming out, more reviews, and I'm still waiting on stuff to come in. It's taken a while. But, uh, I hope to be seeing you soon, guys, and I really appreciate your time. You have a great day.